Anna, welcome back, my dear viewers. I'm Anna, a psychologist specializing in sexology, and today I have a topic that will surely captivate your interest. In this video, we will delve into the mysterious world of female frigidity, uncovering the hidden reasons behind it, and exploring innovative solutions that can bring back passion and pleasure into your life. So, if you're ready to unlock the secrets and discover the key to a fulfilling intimate relationship, then stick around till the end. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel, like this video, and leave your thoughts in the comments section below. Let's get started. Anna, Female Frigidity, Unveiling the Hidden Reasons and Unlocking Solutions. Hey there, folks. Today, we're diving into a topic that some may consider a little taboo, but hey, knowledge is power right? We're talking about female frigidity, and boy, do we have a lot to uncover. So, grab a cuppa and get cozy as we explore the hidden reasons behind this issue and discover some possible solutions. Now, before we get started, let's clear the air on what we mean by frigidity. In simple terms, it refers to a lack of sexual desire or arousal in women. It's important to note that this is a complex issue that can have both physical and psychological roots. So, let's not jump to conclusions and look at the bigger picture. One key factor in understanding female frigidity lies in the intricate web of hormonal fluctuations. Ah, hormones, those sneaky little messengers that can wreak havoc on our bodies. You see, hormonal imbalances can play a significant role in dampening a woman's sexual desire. Whether it's due to changes in estrogen levels or an underactive thyroid, these hormonal shifts can throw a wrench in the gears of our libido. But it's not just hormones that can affect a woman's sexual desire. Stress, my dear readers, is a formidable opponent in the battle against frigidity. Our modern lives are filled to the brim with work deadlines, family responsibilities, and the never-ending scroll of social media. All this stress can pile up, leaving us feeling drained, overwhelmed, and disinterested in getting frisky. However, it's not all doom and gloom. There are solutions to this common issue that can help bring back the spark. One potential avenue to explore is communication. Yep, good old-fashioned talking can work wonders. Opening up to your partner about your feelings, desires, and concerns can create a safe space for exploration and understanding. Another possible solution lies in the realm of self-care. Taking time to prioritize your own well-being can have a significant impact on your sexual desire. Engaging in activities that bring you joy, practicing relaxation techniques, and nurturing your mental and physical health can all contribute to a healthier, more vibrant libido. And let's not forget about the power of professional help. Seeking guidance from a therapist or sexologist can provide valuable insights and tailored strategies to overcome frigidity. These experts have the knowledge and experience to dig deep into the underlying psychological factors and help you reclaim your sexual vitality. Now, I know we've covered a lot in this snippet, but remember, this is just the tip of the iceberg. Female frigidity is a multifaceted issue with a range of causes and potential solutions. So, stay tuned as we delve further into this topic, exploring the impact of societal pressures, relationship dynamics, and even the influence of cultural norms. There's much more to uncover, my friends. Alrighty then, that's it for now. Stay curious, keep asking questions, and remember, no topic should be off-limits when it comes to understanding ourselves and our bodies. Until next time.